Hello, welcome to the final video in this series. We've we've uh, dealt with uh, how to integrate powers of cosine and sine, how to integrate powers of tangent and secant, and now we're on the third level. We want to talk about how to integrate when you have a product of sine and sine with different multipliers on the x, cosine and cosine with different multipliers on the x, or maybe a mixture of sine and cosine with different powers, uh, different multipliers on the x. This might be the easiest of all the techniques because you just throw in an identity and you just make your way through the problem with minimal trouble. You gotta make sure you use the right identity. Okay, so we have um, the three different types and we have uh, M and N being any rational numbers. They don't have to be um, I guess they, yeah, they don't have to be, uh, yeah, so any rational number whatsoever, as long as they're different. They don't have to be integers is what I was trying to say. They could be any any rational number. And so here's how we deal with it, simply by using the correct identity, okay? There are three identities, one for each type. And what they, they come from, this, this set of identities where you have the, cosine of an angle difference or the cosine of an angle sum, the sine of an angle difference, the sine of an angle sum. You take those equations and you manipulate them, combining them, and you'll end up exactly with the integrand. Okay, the cosine of the difference between the two angles minus the cosine of the sum between the two angles. And if you take that, you'll have double what you need. And so we take half of that. Okay. Just have these formulas ready on your cheat sheet, grab the right formula, and you're pretty much on your way. Cosine and cosine, the formula is the same with the plus. Mixture of sine and cosine, you flip to have sines with the plus. Make sure you grab the right formula. Also keep in mind that uh, with those subtractions there, it could be that there's a negative multiplier in there with the x. But that's okay, we know how to deal with that. Because we know that sine of x isn't odd function. So if you see a negative multiplier in there on the x, you can bring that negative as a multiplier out front. It's an odd function. Now, cosine is an even function. So if you see that negative inside of a cosine, don't worry, you can pull it out. And actually, it ends up being exactly the positive version of cosine of x. It's an even function. That's what it means to be even. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at our example. It's so the final example in this series. We're trying to multiply sine of 3x times the cosine of 5x and find its antiderivative. So there are three different, they're very different, these formulas. You can't really get them mixed up. One has sine of m and sine of n, a sine of mx and sine of nx. The other has cosine of mx and cosine of nx. And then there's the mixed one where you have a sine of mx and a cosine of nx. That's what we have. Playing the role of M, 3. Playing the role of N, 5. Go with that last formula. Plug in M equals 3. N equals 5. 3 minus 5 is a negative 2, while 3 plus 5 is an 8. That's really it. You know how to integrate these guys. So you have a sine of negative 2x. That's okay. From above, we know that sine is an odd function. Pull that outside. Negative the sine of 2x. Remember, whenever you try to integrate the sine of a multiple of x, what you get out is the cosine of the multiple of x with a negative on it and the reciprocal of that multiplier out front. So we're going to end up with a, a double negative on this part that's magenta. And it's going to be the negative that's there right now, the negative that comes from integration, and then the one half. So those double negatives cancel out. So the antiderivative of negative the sine of twice x is half the cosine of twice x. Antiderivative of the sine of 8x, negative 1 eighth the cosine of 8x. Um, we got the one half from the formula plus C. 
You can go ahead and put the half in if you want. So one fourth, the cosine of two X minus one sixteenth, the cosine of eight X plus C. You did it. And you've made it to the end of this series of slides and videos on integrating trig powers. About seven or eight videos. You made it to the end. Now you're ready to go and tack some problems and um, get your hands dirty. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. I'm here to help. Um, and I will uh, see you in the next videos, the next set of videos, the next series video. All right. Okay. Take care. My name is Nakai Rimmer and uh, my website is calcoach.com. What I'm doing here is just making a bunch of lecture videos and I'm going to organize them on that site and eventually put together a course for purchase. Uh, there's a couple of video, uh, a couple of workbooks that I have. If you, if you want to take a look at them, they're in the description below. All right. Take care. See ya.